I've never used this toilet, but oh my gosh, this toilet is ugly. But what I'm I can't do anything about it. I can't even deal. So <laughs> there's that. We have a toilet. Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well. Thank you so much for joining me. You might have already seen my other two videos where I decorated San Mashuno apartments. So I actually did build challenges with those other two videos and I will link them at the end of this video. One was a challenge with no money and one was a random pack generator challenge and I like that one so I'm going to do that one again. Last time I got stuck with luxury party stuff, snow escape and the book nook kit. So I took all three of those out of this generator so that it would be fun this time with new packs. And last time I only spun for three. This time I'm going to generate it for four packs. And last time we made an apartment for Luca and he is a single male. And this time we're doing it for two young single females who are just getting started in the city and they have a generous budget of $39,000. So without further ado, we are gonna go ahead and generate which packs I can use for this build. Hopefully we get something good. Okay, we have city living. Oh my gosh, that couldn't have been any better because that is the setting. So that's perfect. High school years. Okay, I <laughs> I don't know why this generator did this. I asked only for four and it gave me five, but it's fine. I'm not gonna use luxury party stuff because like I said, I already used that one and I don't know why that thing likes to generate all the time. So we're gonna use these four, City Living High School Years, which is perfect, they're fresh out of high school, the Blooming Rooms Kit and Laundry Day. I will have a challenge trying to fit a laundry room into this tiny apartment, but I am up for the challenge. So without further ado, I want to introduce you to the two girls we're doing their apartment for. So this is Megan Wheeler, and she just got a career in the entertainment field. This is Nikki Escalante, and she just got a job as a style influencer. So we're going to go ahead and filter the packs we can use for their apartment. And as you can see, it's very, very, very small. I think I'm just going to have to have them share a bedroom. I don't really see any other way around it unless I want a super micro living room and kitchen so we'll just have to play around and see what we can do so first things first i'm gonna filter the packs that i am allowed to use okay so this is everything that i'm allowed to use i'm loving that i have way more options than i did in my last build challenge i'm thinking we can definitely do something here with this now initially my first instinct is to put the kitchen right here so I think why fight that instinct? We're just going to do it. And right off the bat, it looks like we only have one refrigerator, which is not good. <laughs> um, we have these dingy, dirty counters and we have a few sinks we can use for the bathroom when we get there. And do we have a stove? We've got the busted stove. So i'm not in love with that i really wanted this place to look nice but you know i guess it is what it is so with that being said let's go ahead and put the fridge here we're not gonna need too many counters and cabinets but i i'm not gonna worry about the color of everything so far I'm just gonna place down what I want to use and not worry about the color swatches until we get there. So we do have some trash bins. This one is pretty cheap and it's kind of cute, but um, although this one is really big, it does match the counters. So I think we'll do that. And I guess it can't hurt to wrap around these cabinets and we just need a sink now what i'm seeing here is that we have to use a freestanding sink we don't have one we can merge into the counter which is um <laughs> kind of annoying to be honest i mean i could do some kind of 
thing like that where I merge it into the sink. I don't know if that would be usable, but it's a thought. Or could I put, that one looks cool. We'll have to see if this idea even works. It might not work, but I'm using control nine to raise it. And then we will see what happens there. All right, so I'm not sure what color scheme I wanna go with, but I might end up having to go dark because these counters are so ugly. They only look decent in the dark swatch. And I could just go with like a lighter fridge and stove. Push this over here. But yeah, I think that's the direction I'm gonna go with in the kitchen just so that this place isn't, you know, too embarrassing. We'll just figure that the girls painted the cabinets or they used not like the adhesive sticker to cover it up and they can take it down when they move out. You know what? I think I will add counters that act as a seating area because there's not too much space back there and they probably don't need a dining room table anyway. It's just the two of them. And we do have these cute little bar stools we can use. I don't know what color scheme we're going for just yet so we'll just make them like we'll make it neutral for now the blooming rooms kit is great for all of these flowers so i am appreciative of that i can just place a hanging plant over there now i am curious what the wallpaper and flooring situation looks like so we've got plenty of brick which i think would be a smart way to go as an accent at least because I really don't love the dingy wallpaper that we've got with City Living. High School Years has some fun wallpapers that maybe we can use in, the, in their bedroom. But I don't know. How do I feel about this tile? I mean, that actually is kind of cute. So I think I'm going to go with this art deco art deco kind of tile and then what i could do is use a brick for the rest of the room or actually maybe this side i could use something else there's not much else i can do i guess i will just stick with the brick and i'll just use this tile on this side of the wall and I'll put it in the bathroom as well so I can't I can't change the door so I'm not gonna bother changing the swatches of those doors this one I can just make darker to match the other ones I'm not too worried about the doors and the windows of the apartment because in most apartments you can't change the doors or the windows <laughs> Before I move in, on into another section, I do need to figure out the flooring of this place. We don't have lots to choose from, but I'm already really liking this tile for the kitchen. I mean, we could make it fancier and do, you know, a border around it. Yeah, so I will go ahead and do the border of everything. All right, the tile looks nice. now. We already have the city living floor. I just need to figure out what color it should be. I don't know if I want to go dark or light on the floor or keep the original. I, I, I don't really like the yellowy one. Okay, so as y'all might already know if you've seen me before, if not, I am indecisive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the floors sit just like they are like this with the white the gray and the black and then i'm gonna think about it while i move on to something that is a no-brainer and that's the bathroom because you really can't do much in the bathroom i already put the tile from the kitchen in here so i think i'm going to use the tile we used in the kitchen as well and i kind of need to do this from the top down because it is teeny tiny in this bathroom this is the only shower that we have it comes with city living i think i'll just use it in this dark swatch i really unfortunately don't have much of a choice there is a bathtub however 
I don't know if it's worth trying to squeeze one in here. It's not like they have any toddlers or anything that they need to bathe. We do have a talking... Ugh. Ugh. I don't like these toilet options. But, um, this Talking John is the cheaper one of the two. And I don't want to stall. Look, the stall takes up, like, the whole restroom. That's crazy. So, no, we don't have much option. We're going to use this ugly Talking John. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I don't like it. But what can I say? I do like this sink. I would like to put that over here so that means I gotta move the door and I'm not mad about it do we have any mirrors we do I'm gonna change the swatch of the sink and I got a mirror and yeah you know what this room is tiny we're gonna move on from the bathroom if I can decorate it then I will I think for now I'm gonna choose this gray floor it's uh I think that's what I'm gonna choose and put it on into the bedroom now before i go to the bedroom we might as well do the living room i still do need to change the swatch of this plant that'll that'll work i like it sorry if this build is coming off as too neutral it is what it is at this point all right this is all that we have to choose from as far as a couch since it is two two girls i I could either go super cutesy or I could do something a little bit more modern. I am going to face the couch, you know, like in this direction and probably put some chairs over here. This one I might say for the bedroom if I use it. I'm still debating on those on that. I think I will get rid of that. Now, as far as a TV, we do have a massive TV, so thank goodness we have the budget for it. It's kind of too big, so I will size it down. I know, who says a TV's too big? Nobody, really, right? We have the money, so we might as well get them a gaming system. And we do need a coffee table. That's super, like, modern. That might be the direction we need to go. Yeah, I think even though I love those chairs and that vibe, I think I'm going to have to play it safe because I kind of just need to go in the direction that these packs are leading me. All right, so we do have quite a bit of decorations we can choose from, which I am very happy with. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna use that rug, but that rug does work. And I almost forgot, but I think it would be pretty awesome if maybe right by this entryway, I could fit a washer and dryer. Might as well. Oh, you know what? I think we could use like these items in the bedroom because they're gonna need lots of storage. It's two girls living here and I would think they would want some storage. Also, we could place a desk in here. I know I'm getting carried away considering two girls are about to be stuffed in this room, but maybe we could have more fun in their, in their bedroom with the decor. I would like that. Sorry, I just jumped from living room to bedroom. I'm definitely not done with it. I was actually looking for that washer and dryer unit. You know, if I move this out, it would be super cramped walking in. But then it would make more sense for the washer and dryer to be in here. Oh, decisions, decisions. Yeah, what if I push that over and... I just put the washer and dryer right there. Yeah, I think I will do that. I know it's not ideal, but it just makes more sense to me for the washer and dryer to not be in the hallway unless I build something around it anyway. Hey, we'll think about it. It'll, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. You know, what I could do in the bedroom is kind of find a divider to separate you know 
what's going going to be going on in there. They're going to have to learn how to live with no space with each other. I don't mind that rug. That rug's really cute. But um, I'm going to turn my attention back in here. Maybe I can put the plant in the corner. I'll lighten up the come you know the sofas and all that i guess i could just keep that the same now i d well i don't love the rug all right i'm just placing items haphazardly in the house because i don't know what i'm going to use just yet but i do want to put this spice rack in the kitchen that's a really cute thing to have we all gotta have our seasonings you know and there's an end table i can throw in the bedroom it looks a little bizarre even if i make it dark i don't know we'll we'll think about that i could use these cabinets under the tv i don't like that they have gold on them but i guess it's not you know i'd rather have silver but i guess it could be worse you know i want to add one of these back to this room though all right so we do have to figure out the floor pan of this bedroom because i'm afraid i might have over I might have over cluttered it because we don't have a lot and they're gonna have to share this desk over here might not be able to make a desk work in here let's find the beds what if we do like a pink and black bedroom and i don't think I, well i don't know about you but i definitely wouldn't want my bed right next to someone else's <laughs> so okay so i'll push this bed up against the wall this one kind of has to be right there actually you know what i could squeeze one bed over here to give them some more space and i could put the desk here maybe we'll move it more towards the middle the dresser still is kind of massive. And also we have to think that the Sims not going to be able to get around into their bed over there. So I don't think that computer thing's going to work and I don't like that dresser anymore. Okay, yes, there's a small one. There's a smaller one. There's this one Which might work better. There is this tiny desk and that might have to do because I want her to be able to get around here. Oh, actually I like this one better. That's kind of one of the desks that I use a lot, especially cause I have tiny spaces. I think it'll work. The setup is a little awkward, but the room is gonna function. It will function. Can give her a lamp over there. We'll have to fix all the swatches later but and you know the wallpaper and all that but i think this could work you know what for the sake of a cohesive bedroom i think i'll just not make it pink i think we'll focus on like a more neutral room i mean they still have a huge budget left i don't even know how i'm gonna spend this budget that computer hangs off the table which is kind of hilarious but I like, I liked it. It's just too big. I think I'll use that. Gosh, okay. I don't know what it is about the rug, but I don't want that rug anymore. So all that's left to do is get a rug and fix the walls. I'm thinking they graduated from college. So maybe they have this wall full of certificates and their degrees that they're proud to display. All right, so as far as wall papier, we can bring some of the brick back in here, like maybe. We'll see. I guess I'll just do neutral for the sake of cohesion. And then I can add this brick wall back here. I don't know why I keep changing the swatch of this chair. Like it's going to make me happy or something. It's not. Um... <laughs> I might end up just completely changing the chair because there's something about it that's not giving me life. So I guess I will just put this kind of ottoman-like thing right there. Push the laundry back. Could add another window in here. And then I could move the certificates. Is that weird to have another window? 
I think it kind of balances the room out. Yeah, we'll keep the other window. And then I can just move the certificates over there. I like that. Now, as far as plants, I can put this wall hanging plant right there. And I guess we're just going to have to clutter this place with plants because I don't see how we're going to spend this budget if I don't. That one's massive. Let's just use this little uh, window covering thing. Should we put it in the kitchen? I don't think it's going to work. It looks weird when I try to put it over here. It doesn't want to work. So we're just going to leave it there. And then I guess I'll move that plant over here. I guess that's okay. I hope you guys are not like looking at this like, what the freak is she doing? I don't know. I really don't know. I'm just vibing. Okay, so I like that, but... um. The thing that's annoying about these filters is they keep coming off and I have to keep resetting them. We're just going to throw plants everywhere. Like that's the plan is to have it pretty planty. All right. I think that's fine for now. I'll change swatches and all that jazz later. What else do we have? There's clutter. We could clutter it up a little bit considering it's two young girls living here it wouldn't be abnormal to see that let's add a mirror over here to the entryway actually even though i kind of forgot about that that kind of works i actually might change it though i don't know they do need a laundry bin in here so i'll put that somewhere in the bedroom to put some mail over here make this dark colored and we can throw laundry day stuff over there we can hide more books some yeah we can just hide more books over here like maybe they just haven't gotten around to organizing their stuff yet this is this i'm i have sixteen thousand dollars maybe i don't have to use all the money because it's gonna drive me crazy trying to figure out how to use all of this money and to be fair it's not even necessary to use all the money right all right i think i'm gonna put the rug that i put in their bedroom out here i might just use it in a dark color we'll make it cream colored i don't even you know what at this point it is what it is right these pictures are massive, but I can just size them down. That ate up some of our budget, but not enough. Not enough. I mean, I could give them a basketball. <laughs> yeah, there's a basketball to play with. Um, hmm. Yeah. Okay, so there are. Yeah, there's more. There's more diplomas and stuff. Um, I'll put that in the bedroom. We like to see it. Academic women, yes. Can put this laundry basket over here. I think I might actually have to move the clutter in the corner so that they can actually use their laundry basket. Oh, you know what? I didn't really decorate the bathroom. Here we go. I could just put this ironing board in here. And I could put the broom and the dustpan in here. I mean, it's not in an ideal spot, but it's there. We can hang up another plant in here. All right, I don't really know what else to put in here because I don't have any robes or anything. Don't have any towels. Well, I have this. That could work. We can just use that. That came in handy. We could use this for our laundry machine up there. We need some soap, right? Get a couple of those. I mean, we could put another plant on top. <laughs> At this 
point we're like oh you know what i think there's a more expensive toilet this toilet looks more normal even though it's definitely weird and i've never used this toilet but oh my gosh this toy is ugly but what i'm i can't do anything about it i can't even deal so <laughs> there's that we have a toilet i feel like i didn't do a very good job on this challenge because i didn't use all the money but we had too much money i mean but can you really have too much money though i think the thing about city living too is it doesn't have super expensive items like the most expensive item in like all the packs all the packs that i chose is like this computer i'll give them a speaker for music i don't even know if they can access that but there it is i can size down a candle to put in there what i could do is add more plants back here so i could squish these back further should i could i just do two then we totally covered this you know what i don't care i don't even care anymore i don't care it's just gonna go over there and wait i can put these on i'll put those on the wall i wish they had a bigger apartment i would give them so much more but they don't now I can give them this more expensive game box I gave them a cheaper one and I can just put it back there oh hey there's a football hey the football should go up there with the basketball there we go there's bubbles they can have bubbles yikes yikes I mean, one of them is an entertainer, so maybe they have a microphone in their house. Yeah, they'll just have an area right there where they can use their microphone. Hey, why not a tablet? We'll just put a tablet, a jamming tablet in here. There, I, I gave them a tablet. <laughs> we can have another plant. And I think I'm going to move the bubbles to be down there. Oh, I found some more clutter I could throw up there. I can actually put these little these little plants in the bookshelves too. Like size them down. I could just give her a bunch of those. All right, I'm done. I'm done with this apartment. I can't do it anymore. <laughs> I can't do it anymore. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. It got a little chaotic in the end, and then I just gave up on trying to spend all of their money because, hey, maybe they need their money anyway to do other things, right? They don't need to blow it all on their <laughs> apartment. So... With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this apartment building making with the build challenges that we had to use. Just a quick recap, here is the bedroom and this is the other side of the bedroom and this is the place where the laundry stuff is and here's the bathroom with the washer and dryer the living room and the kitchen i hope you guys enjoy these screenshots i enjoyed this build and i will see you guys in the next video very soon don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye